आर्काइव्स ऑफ प्रसार भारती प्रेजेंट्स द टाइमलेस ट्रेजर ऑफ गोल्डन एरा A visit to Mithila in the Madhubani district of North Bihar was high on our itinerary. traditional madhubani art has undergone a significant change in the post independence period although it is still distinctly recognizable as madhubani it has become the art of talented individual artists A major shift introduced by concerned individuals with state support has secularized the art and disconnected it from its old ritual functions. This has helped Madhubani art to gain market recognition and through it worldwide acclaim. Traditionally only women from the Brahman and Kayast households would paint upon the mud walls of their dwellings on ritual occasions like a wedding or a sacred thread ceremony Kayasts would draw with lines only and the Brahmans would paint with masses of colors and lines Oh 
In bygone times, Kshatriya landholders would commission Brahmin women to decorate the walls of bridal chambers. To see one, we visited the now abandoned palace of the Darbhanga Raj, destroyed in the Bihar earthquake of 1936. Kobar ritual wedding paintings include images of the sun god, symbolizing the life-giving force, bamboo, symbolizing fertility, and the tortoise, symbolizing life under cover. The elaborate Kobar Ghar or bridal chamber is decorated with many types of coupling imageries. Kobar painting is a living tradition. We saw one in the house of Leela Devi, where a wedding had taken place on the previous day. During the near famine situation of 1966, Bhaskar Kulkarni, an artist scout of the Handloom and Handicrafts Export Corporation, persuaded Pupul Jaikar the chairperson of the corporation, to sanction some funds for famine relief. Kulkarni used the money to buy paper, pigments, brushes, rice and wheat. Then he persuaded the Madhubani women to paint on paper against payment in cash and kind. The following winter, their paintings were exhibited in Delhi they received wide acclaim and Madhubani painting was placed firmly on the nation's art map. The shift from mud walls to paper facilitated the emergence of individual professional artists. Ganga Devi of Rashidpur was one of the earliest individual artists to emerge. The breakdown of the caste style norms in the post Mudwall era prompted this skyest painter to introduce colour in her work. However, she excelled in the repeated use of straight lines and strokes with a minimum touch of colour. Her forte has been the construction of non-narrational and highly ornamental traditional symbolic 
images. Ganga Devi died a few years ago. Sita Devi, a 90-year-old Brahmin painter of Jitwarpur, is perhaps the oldest living member of the first group of individual artists. Sita Devi's paintings can be identified by the long, slender figures, a caring delineation of flora, and the use of fine, sinuous, vegetational lines to define images. According to her, what Pupul Jaikar and Bhaskar Kulkarni did in 1966 was nothing short of a revolution. They gave the women of Madhubani a profession, an independent income, and dignity. Individual talent was recognized, achievements rewarded. An interview with the 70-year-old Mahasundari Devi of Arati turned out to be quite revealing. She told us that even before Kulkarni had introduced large sheets of paper for painting, the Kaist women would draw on small sheets of paper and use them as folded envelopes to wrap ritual gifts exchanged between the bride and the bridegroom's family. She showed us some wrappers used in a recent marriage in her own family.
बउआ देवी लिव्स इन जितवरपुर Her paintings are marked by bold, heavy, and flowing contour lines, and contrasting, light-shaded primary colors. She has a penchant for dramatic juxtaposition of large-sized images in her compositions. Godavari Datta of Rati has built up an international clientele, highly skilled craftsmanship, and a heightened sense of decorativeness characterizes her work. Leela Devi of Rashidpur is the younger sister-in-law of Ganga Devi. We went to Leela Devi's place a day after a wedding in the family when we could see the ritual paintings on the mud walls. वो कह कह रही है जो हमसे ऊपर जो विद्वान है उसी से शादी कर रही है तो उनका पिताजी जितना लड़का लाते थे वो सब को नेगलेक्ट कर देते थे जो नहीं हम नहीं करेंगे हमको प्रश्न उत्तर नहीं देते हैं तब ने उनका पिताजी सोचा जी इतना मूर्ख से इनका शादी कर देना चाहिए लीला देवी टोल्ड अस तब गया हाउ प्रोफेशनलाइजेशन of what was earlier only an occasional ritual preoccupation has changed the status of madhubani women as respectable breadwinners today they have become the decision makers in their families
Mithila also has a long tradition of Shakta Tantrism. Some Brahmins still carry on with this work, but it is only the males among them, like Siddhinath Chha of Jitwarpur, who do tantric paintings in the Brahman style, filled with esoteric iconography and symbols. The ready market for Mithila painting has inevitably led to commercialization. A grandson of Sita Devi paints designs on textiles. Another paints on laminated boards used as wall decorations in shops and restaurants. Commercialization, however, has also inspired the really creative individual artists to do better and better work. <laughs> 